Well, I've got what I thought was a funny story when it came across my desk uh, a couple days ago. The dateline is August 25 of 2012. Uh, it came out of Char- uh, it's a story that came out of Charlotte, North Carolina. You might be familiar with it. Uh, about two weeks ago, the uh, American Atheist Organization put up a couple of billboards in Charlotte, North Carolina. One of them mocked Christianity, and the other one mocked Mormonism. I don't know if you've seen the pictures of these or not, but they're actually quite, uh, I, mean, I, I think they're pretty funny. Um, the one that attacks Mormonism says, God is a space alien, baptizes dead people, big money, big bigotry. It's got a picture of a, a, a guy like jumping up in midair in underwear, white underwear and white t-shirt. The one that attacks Christianity says, um, sadistic God, useless savior, 30,000 plus versions of the quote truth, close quote, promotes hate, calls it quote love, close quote. It's got a picture of a piece of bread that's supposed to be toast and the the pattern of the toast, the burnt part, it looks like the face and head of Jesus. Both of them say, join American atheists and atheism simply reasonable. And uh, apparently, well, they were they were set up for the or put up for the to greet the uh, attendees to the Democratic National Convention. Apparently, um, the president of American Atheists. Uh, said uh, that he, they were using their First Amendment rights to ridicule the silliness of religion. Now, I'm a lawyer, and frankly, I don't see a problem with, uh, with, with these as far as the First Amendment goes. I think that's a valid uh, exercise of their rights under the First Amendment. I think other, you know, if they want to, other religions or lack thereof have the right to make fun of or point out what they think are silly about the other ones. So... Um, and, and to a certain extent, I don't necessarily, well, I kind of agree that, you know, a lot of religion is silly. And I'm going to talk a lot about that, um, more about that on, on this channel and other videos. Um, but it's the, the over-the-top nature of this, uh, of these two uh, billboards, as soon as I saw them, immediately reminded me of a quote from Shakespeare's Hamlet. So I went and I pulled the books and... Um, to try to make sure I got the quote right and make sure I remembered it right and, and put it in context. And it had been a while since I'd done that, so it was a pretty good thing I did. It's actually, technically, if you care about this, it's from Act 3, Scene 2 of Hamlet. Hamlet is sitting uh, there in, in this scene, and he's, he's sitting by his mother, who's Queen Gertrude, and they're watching a play. And Hamlet turns to his mother uh, during the play, and he asks her, uh, Madam, how do you like this play? And Queen Gertrude responds, The lady doth protest too much, methinks. And that's the quote. The lady doth protest too much, methinks. And, you know, the, the modern use of the word protest is, you know, they're, 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 pro, they're, they're making such a big deal out of it, I doubt their sincerity about it. But in, back in Shakespeare's days, the, the, the language meant even more. It had a, more, a stronger meaning. Uh, it literally mean, meant that the more passionately someone argues in support of one thing, the more likely it is in reality they're suppressing feelings, not just of doubt, but of belief in the opposite, uh, which then confirms the opposite of their truer statement, of what they're saying. And it just, that to me was what struck me as being funny about this. It was just so over the top, these statements that they made. And it was almost as though they were trying to convince themselves that there wasn't a God, or if he was, that he wasn't worth knowing, or he was somebody to make be made fun of. It was just as if somewhere deep down inside them, whoever it was that designed this and or approved it, had a feeling that just maybe, maybe there is a God. And uh, I just wanted to say, if you find yourself wondering about the real, authentic Christianity, I'm not talking about organized religion. I'm talking about Christianity. There's a difference, and we'll talk about that. I'll talk about that a lot in these videos. If you're interested in that or if you're wondering about it, then just keep watching these videos that I'll post on this channel. And let's see if we can't separate real Christianity from organized religion and a lot of its silliness.